In this week's parsha, it says, "Vatimaleha arts Hamas," and the land became filled with Hamas. Literally means violence, but the land became filled with Hamas. And in light of the recent events that's been going on with Israel, with the recent war that Hamas is raging on Israel, it's just, just almost poetic, poetic timing um, that that this line, this verse appears in Torah. So this week's parsha was parsha Noach. And there's a huge mystery in this week's parsha. And we'll go on to explain what that is. Before that, there's a story that I heard from Rob Abraham Tversky. He writes in his book, um, Visions of the Fathers. He has this right here. Great book. Commentary on Pirkei Avot. And he explains that he was working with an addict. And he worked with his, in Israel. And this man is... 29 years old, and he's been in jail already 15 years of his life. He feels society gave up on him. He feels he only belongs in jail. He feels he's worthless completely. Now, Tversky brings him in, and he, this guy tells him, you know, I'm worth, you know, just who wants to take care of me? Like, who, no one wants to help me. Like, I'm just garbage. That, that's it. And Tversky said, you know, whenever you take a diamond out of the dirt, out of the ground, it looks dirty, it looks nasty, it looks disgusting. It's all covered in everything. And only experts are able to tell that there's a diamond inside. He said, I'm that expert. I can see that there's a diamond inside you. And so this guy went to rehab with Rabbi Tversky um, in his, one of his um, inpatient settings, inpatient clinics. This guy became very fully integrated into society. He had a complete recovery, something almost unheard of for someone that sunk as low as him. Rabbi Tversky writes that self-confidence, he, he, wrote, he writes a line, in one of his books, that he's obsessed with the idea that most psychological issues stem from a lack of self-esteem, and that's so powerful. You know, how does Noah end up drunk at the end of his life? You know, in the beginning of his life, he's, the Torah calls him Tzadik Tamim Bedorotav, Et Alkimi Hitalech Noach, that he walked with God, that he was right, just perfect in his generation. How does he end up a drunken person at the end of his life? Such a, a hard f and low fall? That, that makes no sense. And the answer to this question is, to this mystery, how Noah ends up as he ends up, is in what Rashi says, Mikatne Amanahaya. Noah was, he had a lack in faith. He was one of those people that were small in their faith. The obvious question on this Rashi is, what does Rashi mean Noah was small in his faith? He spends 120 years building a teva, building an ark, because God said, and he's, he's, he's small in his faith? You don't just dedicate 120 years of your life to do that. You're small in faith. Furthermore, he spoke with God. He was a Navi. It's not like you even need faith at that point. <laughs> it's not like, like the idea of faith is even... Relevant. He spoke with God one on one. A, God spoke to him. What do you need? What's it mean? He lacks faith. So in this, the Kedusha the Halevi answers. Rabbi Levi Yitzchak Min Barditchev says, "No, it's not me. Katnei Hashem. It's not he's lacking in faith in God. Katnei Amenah. That's small. He's lacking in faith in himself. In himself, my friends." Confidence is the root of true humility. In order to be truly confident, we have to be truly humble. If we want to stand up to the vices, to the injustices of our generation, we have to believe in ourselves. You know, Avraham, when God tells him, I'm going about to destroy Sodom, God Avraham doesn't say, okay. And goes, he prays for Sodom, Moshe. God tells him, Heref me, man, leave me alone. And I'll destroy B'nai Israel. Moshe doesn't say, okay, I'll listen to you. No, he stands up and fights on behalf of them. But at the same time, when the Israelites were doing wrong, Moshe would stand up to the Israelites and say, hey, you're doing wrong. You're not doing what's right. Moshe wasn't afraid to break the Luchot in front of them. And to do that, it takes confidence. Noach. He may have believed in God, but he didn't believe in himself and his own ability to stand up to the people of his generation. 
We say every day in Mura Ani, Rabbi Munasecha, that your faith, God, you have abundant faith in us. And if God believes in us, who are we to not believe in ourselves? What we learn from Parsha Noach is that perhaps he had PTSD, he was suffering from regret. The whole world was destroyed because perhaps he could have done better if he would have stood up. If he had more confidence in himself. We learn from Parsha Noach that it's not enough just to believe in God. We must also believe in ourselves. I hope you all have a great day, a great week. If you enjoy this, please share this with a friend. Peace out.